And welcome back at Fusion Media Hub with me, Kirby P, and our new, brand new episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed 3. What's going on with the uh, Animus thinking here? Anyways, uh, as it, it seems that there is a side mission that we do last time. Oh, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, come on, look here. The dog wants to be petted. What the hell is it? What's wrong with that pig? Let's pet it. Here, eat something. <laughs> Alright, last time we entered the new world and we also met Benjamin Franklin, who is a book store owner. So, what the hell? What's this do? Thank you. Doing here. Or should. Wait a minute. What am I supposed to do here? I'm. To uh, I'm Okay, ah, I remember. I should uh, do something, and I know I have to get into a store. Ah, we should buy a sword and a pistol. All right, this is the main mission. I thought I was going to do a side mission here. So uh, excuse me for my confusion. To business. But let's see what we can buy. Uh, normal weapons. Okay, just normal sword. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. I can't confirm it. All right, normal sword. So <clears throat> our first few weapons and a flintlock pistol. All right. Good. And we can leave for the time being. Maybe later on he will have more in store. But for now, let's just leave here. There's something to gamble again. Is it here? Mm -hmm. Oh no, 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 I'm not playing that anymore. <laughs> I'm doing only these games maybe later on or if there's something new that I haven't played before. Holy cow, that was quite expensive. But anyways, give me that horse. Ah, Mount with X. I was. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. Okay, let's... The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No, Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? I, William Johnson, waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well. But he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Okay, quite gentleman-like behavior. Uh, I kind of miss the smooth feeling of um, Red Dead Redemption. We can simply uh, have better controls for your horse. For some reason, this looks a little bit buggy and glitchy. I mean, look at his coat and uh, what's doing. What is going on with the back of the horse? Anyways, sequence two. Welcome to Bust. Ah, mission complete, 100%. Doggy! <laughs> I should stop doing that. Alright, there we have a new mission, but I'd like to know what that other symbol on the map means. Maybe did something with uh, the missing book pages. Oh, that hurt. Ah, okay. He's automatically crouching when he's out of sight. Alright, I can enter here. Let me see what is inside there. There's something special, something new. Are you sure you want to travel to the underground Boston? Uh, okay. But if there's nothing special there, then we'll probably leave and head back to our main story progress. Can't think of it this time around, we probably have to do a little bit more um, main story 
Okay, this looks like some underground dungeon entrance lobby whatsoever to can I light this? Okay. To something you you you, you may expect from uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> or so. Don't know if there's something that important down here. Crown coffee. Alright. But maybe I can find some of these uh, book pages. But if I realize there's like nothing else to do here, then we probably go back. So now. Pick lock. Well, it's kind of dark, so. Wait, ah, that's it. Okay, no. Okay. okay, this time around I was much faster and picking locks. So, what is. Fast travel point unlocked. Good! I unlocked my, fast, uh, my first fast travel point. Maybe we will go back to the underground dungeon later on. <laughs> now I'm talking about dungeons. Well, um, maybe we'll head back to the underground later on, but as for now, I just wanna do some main missions. Okay, where am I? Somewhere, still in Boston, but not exactly the place I wanna be. Wait a minute, I can open the map. I'd like to see um Alright, I'm up here now. This wasn't actually where I had the intention to go first. So we we set the marker to this mission. We do some side missions first. Okay, this is a little bit well no actually it is close though. Um 200 meter means almost nothing in Assassin's Creed. I okay, just have to be careful because these guards are spotting me. Don't want to get caught here. I oh, don't want to cause any trouble. That should do. Grab, grab, grab it! No, that was terrible. I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. I have to. Move quite fast here. No one's suspicious of me. <laughs> See, there's a stranger guy running around like crazy. Uh, what happened? Did that mission glitch? Deliver letters in Boston. Thank you. So, actually, that. Uh, uh, actually, I could trigger that mission. Don't know if that's supposed to have like almost no mission briefing. But anyways, we have already two letters delivered. I guess the next one's around here. So that means these are the people only I have to give letters to. Set the marker here. So basically, they're not giving me any new side mission missions. This is my side mission. I was kind of mistaken it, but anyways, I know I could use actually the roofs and so on to be a little bit more faster, or probably riding horses here. But this works as well. Thank you. All right, we acquired 500 pounds. So let's see if there's something else we could do. Uh, excuse me. Okay. So that's just fast travel point down there. We have to discover quite a lot here. Let's go to that conversation until we. Before we head on, 
to the main mission. Out of my way! I'm in a hurry. Can't you see? Okay. We're almost there. What am I doing here? Doesn't matter. I wanna set sail again. It was kinda of cool doing Assassin's Creed. In ship. Ah! Inside there's something. So, who wants. Hmm. Hello again. More almanac pages? Well, not quite. It's a treatise, actually. Oh? Concerning what? The benefits of taking an older woman as a lover. Really? This I'd like to hear. First and most obvious, they're wiser. And so this makes for far more stimulating conversation. Makes other things more stimulating as well, but more on that in a moment. All right. Your argument for experience makes some sense. Second, when beauty fades, women must improve their utility, lest they be discarded and forgotten. Rare is an old woman who is not also kind, compassionate, and good. That's something of a generalization. But also true. Now, on to the third. Older women cannot conceive. Which means one less thing over which to fret. In fact, you also decrease the chance of acquiring something like the French pox. Its presence clearly visible, or the woman dead. And should one desire a child? Then make a young woman your wife. Let the older one be a mistress. And that brings me to my fourth point. With age comes prudence. An older woman is less likely to reveal your indiscretions. Yes. I suppose you know quite a bit about that. And proud of it, thank you. As to the fifth reason, because in every animal that walks upright, the deficiency of the fluids that fill the muscles appears first in the highest part. The face first grows lank and wrinkled, then the neck, then the breast and arms. The lower parts continuing to the last as plump as ever, so that covering all above with a basket and regarding only what is below the girdle, it is impossible of two women to know an old from a young one. And as in the dark all cats are gray, the pleasure of corporal enjoyment with an old woman is at least equal and frequently superior, every knack being by practice capable of improvement. You mad bastard! Well, it's true, and believe me, I should know. I've sampled a great many. You should try one as well. Like a fine wine, they only improve with age. Although I suppose if left unattended too long, some of a tendency to sour. And that, my friend, is a most unpleasant experience. Better to work in a field often plowed, you know. Is there more? Indeed, indeed. The sixth is this. The sin is less. To take a maiden head is a great responsibility. Mishandled, it can ruin lives. No such risk with an older woman. And this implies the seventh. Younger women are more given to compunction. Anxiety and unease are not present in the more aged and experienced. And as to the last of my reasons, well, it's really quite simple. Older women are so very grateful for the attention. You make a compelling argument, Mr. Franklin. I might just have to run a few tests myself. I highly recommend it. Okay, that that wasn't something you may expect from someone like Benjamin Franklin. But anyways, uh, now that we have been informed quite well why he prefers older women over the younger ones, let's get to the main mission. <laughs> while I'm jumping like crazy around here. Yeah, so that's that and we can 
you know after we explored quite a few things here <laughs> wait a minute is that, oh, no. that is again the underground symbol interesting no 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 Damn it. Wait a minute. Huh? Where did I collect a page? How? Okay, somehow I must have stepped over over one. But anyways, let's go to the next mission. You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. All right. So let's follow Lee up here, and we'll see what will be our next mission. Since he wanted us uh, to obtain a few weapons. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. All right, we should help to gain back Thomas Hickey's party, but we'll do that on the next episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed 3 on Fusion Media Hub. See you then.